Welcome aboard the station wagon on Shady Pines Radio. Hey everybody, this is Brian. And I'm Callie. And we are on the station wagon, cruising down uh, Deacom, actually right now. We're just cruising down Deacom for a little while, because Deacom isn't a very long street. We'll probably eventually have to make a turn. We're going to pick up the wools, and we're actually bringing them back to the studio with us. Yeah, we're going to pick up the wools. Uh, oh, wait! There they are right now! They're right there on the side of the road! With the what the up? What up, wools? It's the wools! Brian <laughs> Kelly! Hey, can we get a ride? We're going to somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you were coming uh, to the to the station. I think this is your destination. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sweet. This that is, is where we were going. Yeah. I kind of forgot it. about it a little while back, but now we're back on track. Yeah, come yeah. come on in. So we uh so we met the wolves. Uh, we met Michael first through our friend Comron. Um, Brian, uh, what's the story on that? Oh man, how did we? Okay, so Comron, uh, my my old friend and housemate here in Portland, uh, he was like, uh, I know this guy from Corvallis who plays a mean fiddle. Woohoo! Ain't no uh, lie. Yeah, and <laughs> he was like, you, you should play you should play some music with him, and we did. And, uh, yeah, yeah, Michael started playing with, with my band Chonk back, uh, I don't know. Uh, like two, four th- years ago? Three, 19, four. 19 Tickety 2, I believe, yeah. was the year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, up from Old Core Valley. Old Core Valor. Yeah, and yeah. I think at that time you were just moving from, like, uh, Vancouver, Washington. I think you were still in Vancouver, Washington when I met you, maybe. And then you true, I moved. lived around uh, in the coop, yeah. Kentucky, and, as they call it. And yeah. then we met Christina when we were invited to uh, Michael's birthday party. At which point, I don't. So I don't. I didn't know you guys uh, had, had started. You, you hadn't been. You weren't the wolves yet at that point when no, we met you. We Let's actually, put it that way. We weren't. Uh, we're lovers, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know. And no. we hadn't gone together at that point, but we. Uh, I. I. Michael had invited me to his birthday with many silly faces on Facebook. I remember your faces were there. And uh, and I came and it was so magical, like, because we used to live in this house where there was a big, like, um, trellis and it had these beautiful, like, hanging flowers. So my first sight of, like, walking up to that house was, was just, like, Michael and Greg Baker, like, playing on the front porch. They were fiddling. Yeah. And they were just like framed in these beautiful like purple flowers. Was that your was first like, day at that house, or yeah, it was the first time okay. I came to that so house. So you guys, we met you the same day that you two met each other, or no? No, we knew each other. Nah, we knew each other. Okay, yeah, we knew each other before, but that was kind of when it all sort of coalesced. You know, I, I felt yeah. it. I felt the electricity, the the the, the birthing electricity of uh, the wolves. <laughs> of the wolves. Yeah. I felt it that That's night. That's when the first you wool was too. born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you know, did we know that we are but a speck floating in the great blue eye of the fatherly wool? Is that true? Okay. Oh, That's why the sky is blue. So not everybody uh, is yet acquainted with uh, the, the, the cult of the wool that you guys have created. Well, so, cult is one way to put it. You could also call it an emergent religion. Or a lifestyle. <laughs> I mean, I, I would call it It's also a lifestyle, lifestyle brand. Lifestyle. Right. Yeah. Can you, can you tell us what what is a wool and well, what what how do how do that the wolves come about? Wolves are cosmic beings uh, from dreams and uh, you know sort of trans celestial vibrations. They live in space. And, oh, I didn't. And I, they, I did not know that. No, I've they seen... do. They they are fluffy space llamas. That's kind of their best you know earthly explanation yeah uh, but they they feed on the dreams of artists and pizza is their favorite food other than the dreams of artists and they kind of they they feed on those two things and they they excrete them in this beautiful gossamer web of the dreams of artists and pizza cheese and that's what and makes right. up, weaves that's together. what makes up our whole reality that's reality it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that explains a lot i gotta say anyway um, they make mostly a sound that you, goes guys. like this it goes <laughs> you've heard you heard it first yeah. here folks 
I've wolves. seen I've seen your I've seen artistic renderings. I've never seen a photo of a wool, but I have seen some artistic you renderings. Uh, if you ever if you ever saw a wool, you would die. Yeah. Right. So. Kind of like Yeah, you know, at the, that point it's too late. The Christian yeah. God, everyone says like, Oh, you can't see him because you would die. Same with the wool they're kind of in the same but similar celestial sphere. We can generate uh, cartoonish renderings of what a wool might look like. But if we ever were to truly see one, our minds would have expanded to a point beyond our skulls. All right. All right. Well, before we get started, we'd like to encourage people out there in Radio Land to tip the musicians. What is, oh, what is yeah. your guys' Venmo? I should have had this we written have two down. Venmos. Oh, ours is at Wools. Oh, you have at Wools? Yeah, yeah, just wools. at sign W U L E S. Wools. All right. That's going to be up on your screen. Be sure to throw all of your uh, your, your your golden coins uh, into the virtual internet uh, machine and and give it to the wolves. Yeah. Hey, you know, this is a live show. Also, um, uh, it's today is Easter and uh, we're celebrating Wool Easter today. The wool yeah. has risen. The wool has risen. <laughs> we we should talk about this after your next song. <laughs> but you guys actually did. You were used to both DJ a show here on Shady Pines Radio in the very early days, which was about a year ago now. Yeah. And uh, you, one of your episodes was a, a Wool Easter episode. But uh, let's let's save that for uh, for after. What do you, what do you guys have to play for us? Well, we got a fiddle tune we can play for you. All right. Here we go. It's called Turkey Tracks. Or as we like to call it, wool tracks. Wool tracks. <laughs> <laughs> we so, learned it from the heavenly wool. Bless, bless the heavenly Steamed wool. down from the heavens. That's beautiful. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, so you guys used to uh, used to host Wolves in the Morning, and the the very like we're right now, we're basically at the one year anniversary of this here radio experiment that we're doing. Actually, Thursday will be our one year anniversary. Thursday. One year we'll be one years old on Thursday, April eighth. Yeah, we're releasing some pretty cool stuff that day. So and, stay tuned. Oh yeah, but uh, so you guys did like one of the original shows, like one of the first. You were two oh, of the yeah. first DJs. That was so fun and. Like some of you may remember the ASMR like uh, coffee making experience of our very first show. Yeah, we used to yep. let that coffee machine gurgle. Oh yeah, that we used was, to plug that it was up very with memorable. coffee and let it gurgle. 
It was like the perfect uh, morning segment, actually. I, I very much remember that. We were sitting outside listening to the coffee gurgle, and we were just so tickled by this coffee gurgling, and we wanted more of it. <laughs> I was gurgled by that coffee tickling. It was quite if nice. If you know what I mean. Yeah. And so now, uh, now Christina has... So you guys took a break from radio. Um, you, the I think that the fame got went to your head, and yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to get into all the, yeah. the nasty like details a, of your uh, your. We, we went on like a COVID sabbatical where we sort of like um, we went up to your parents' house and we just sort of like we were just out. We were just we were out, out of Portland. We were just out there out for of the a radio. while. Yeah. We were we were in the universe. I was sort of grappling with this problem where like. Everything I said was being stored in some kind of digital record for eternity. <laughs> and I felt like I didn't want to assault the public with my ideology. And every time a microphone is in front of me, I feel this need to get political. So I just, uh, I, I just wanted to stop. But Christina felt within her a burning desire to be a radio sensation. And yeah. so, <laughs> so she kept going. And now she's got a great show. Called mm. the Wooling Hour. Yeah, it sort of carries on the legacy. Just the a few wools. weeks ago, you started the Wooling Hour, and uh, I've I've been enjoying it quite a lot. And you can listen to the Wooling Hour today as well. At today. what time? Uh, it's at like two p.m. Two, two p.m. So. Every Sunday, you get the Wooling Hour with DJ. Woolina. Woolina. Yeah. Woolina. So if if after Woolina. this show you haven't had quite enough. Of uh, of the wolves, you you'll have some more of uh, of Christina Woolina. Oh, um, yeah, what is what right is the this. what is the wooling hour? So the wooling hour is sort of like a reimagined. Uh, uh, what is that word when you come back to life? Uh, uh, rebirth, 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 or rebirth or reincarnation. Or like, um, uh, no, the uh, the Easter like. The oh, Easter oh, 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 uh, zombies. Zombies, <laughs> living dead. Uh, the resurrection. 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 Okay, go. resurrection. thank you. Good Lord. All right. So it's a resurrection of wolves in the morning, but in a slightly different way, because uh, what I kind of do is sort of a, a close to the mic, like serious NPR. It's very NPR. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. It, and it's focused on traditional string music from around the world. So. Except for that one song that you played that had like Pac Man Organs. sound effects in it. <laughs> I know. O over, I, like, over so like bluegrass. It was amazing. That yeah. was inspired by traditional music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Talking I, about traditional music, should we play another song? Oh, good, good call, oh, Callie. Yeah, Bring it back to the music. <laughs> Want to do the old time Billy? Yes. Um, what key is it in? G? A? Uh, G? Ooh, it's the wolves, everybody. They're here on Shady Pines Radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.
yippee ki That was the uh, old time Billy in the Low Ground, and one of it the was, many uh, one of the many versions of Billy in the Low Ground. Yeah, this one comes from North Carolina, and it's by somebody named. Uh, okay, I know Marjorie Rice isn't right because. I think w- Wilberg Wollenstein. Wilberg Wollenstein. That sounds about right. I think I've heard that before. Yeah, I've heard yeah. of that. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you guys a little bit about your pre wools, uh, your other projects, like what you got, how, what brought you to this point in life and and your musical lives. Oh, that's um, a good question. Yeah. So I, like I know I know well, I I know some of these answers, but not everybody does. Well, and, mostly it was out of love for the heavenly wool. Like, we were both looking up at the clouds every day, thinking, like, look at those fluffy wolves just passing by. And before long, we found each other, and it was because of the heavenly wool. Praise be unto the heavenly wool. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can come up with a less cultish answer. Yeah, <laughs> what do you mean least... cultish? <laughs> this is an emergent religion. Yeah, you gotta at least convince people that you aren't trying I to start a cult before you indoctrinate you them. From. Um... So, I mean, so you guys were both doing projects before. Like, I know uh, Michael is in Out West. Uh, out West. And, 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 you know, I don't know what your, your guys' status is now. What, what is Out West doing these days? Well, Out West is kind of scattered lately. Uh, our, uh, our banjo player got suckered into another band, whatever their uh. names are, I forget. <laughs> I think it's called... Uh, Always stay high. Or never give up or something. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, no, it's never come down. They're come great. Down. We come love down. them. Yeah. They sent us they're a really Christmas wonderful. song for our Christmas. They're, they're, they're actually yeah. going to be on the next Wooling Hour. Yeah, oh, they're cool. probably one of the yeah. top. They're probably the best uh, <laughs> new uh, roots, bluegrass, bluegrass kind of band, singing, bands around like, town. With, uh, original yeah. music and stuff. But they they're, cool they're a little scattered. Uh, Brian moved out. Out east, he's in like Hood River now, I think, and uh, yeah. and uh, our mandolin player started having babies. He just started cranking them out one day. There were several paternity <laughs> and suits. So it happens. Cute. <laughs> no, it's the same. Same wife. woman. Same wife. All right. Well, you know, Jeez, potato, potato, Michael. whatever. Uh, and uh, anyway. But you guys had a good good run a, of it, and we had a good long maybe run. Maybe there'll be a good reunion tour at some point. Uh, you guys are all cool, and Out West is uh, honestly like uh, they're like one of my favorite bands. I love Out West. Yeah, uh, yeah they're they're, they're fucking great. We uh, should have seen us in, away. in our golden days, man. We we had a good band. Went on a little tour. It was a good time, and I honestly believe Out West will rise again. I believe it too. How, how about you, Christina? What 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 is your your musical past? I know you've done some like solo recordings and. Well, it's true. Um, I've done some solo recordings um, back in Utah. That was where I came from before this. Um, but I just wanted to say I once got a chance to play with Out West, and it was, it was so fun. Anyway, I love Out West. I want to see them together again. But before that, before the Wolves. Um, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, I have two albums uh, that I did back in Utah, and some and a couple like short EPs. That was really fun. That's all on my Bandcamp. Yes, some great wants solo to, recordings, by the way. Like a song my... "America," I fucking oh, love. Man. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. That you know what? Actually, the um, my friend knew somebody who was working for the Rand Paul campaign, and uh, kind of when he was like. Did he like run for president or something? Or he was yeah, I think to? a couple of times. <laughs> so so okay, <laughs> it so didn't th- happen. But I don't remember when it was. But she was like, she called me and she was like, "Hey, the Rand Paul campaign wants to use your song America." <laughs> no and I was way. like, and I was like, <laughs> <It's amazing>. no, <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Probably a good call. Yeah. So uh, what you should have done or it. Ron you would have been catapulted was, to a new it level. It was Rand Paul. Oh, was Rand Paul. Because like Ron Paul was like. No, it was post Ron Paul. Oh yeah, definitely not. Yeah. Maybe it was Ron. Paul. See, now See, Ron Paul now ran for president a couple of times. Well, I, whichever, I, sorry, I get the guy... two mixed up, but Ron Paul was like the old like libertarian that like people thought were cool was cool for a while. Well, um, whichever one was running for president was the one who she she called me and said, you know, they want to use your song, and I said, I don't think that's a good idea. Like, I don't want to be like politically. If it was Bernie, I'd be like, fucking yeah, but yeah, oh, yeah. Am I allowed to say fuck on that? 
Uh, yeah. No, no. Damn. You're actually, you the FCC me? is on their way right Damn. now. They're yeah. in route. <laughs> Guns uh, ablazing. This okay. show is sponsored by the Christian Coalition. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry. <laughs> so, Cancelled. Yeah, uh, We're going to turn I, you in. Actually, when Michael and I met, um, I was in a psychedelic rock band called King Black Acid. Yeah. Which was like a pretty fun, like nine months, weird rabbit hole trip. I went down. It was a trip. Yeah, it was pretty crazy, but oh, that that was cool. Like I got to experience being like a rock star because they're like a culty Portland band, and uh, and you were in one of their music videos really too, weren't you? Yeah, it was uh, actually it's a sweet music video. It's called. Um, was it that one shot on Super Eight? Yeah, it's shot on Super Eight. It had a lot of like. Uh, sped up stuff in it. Anyway, it was sweet. It was, cool. it was a I fun time. I want to say something. All right. Sweet, what? sweet. If you are enjoying the show, feel free to give uh, the Wolves a tip. At Wolves on Venmo. At Wolves on Venmo. It's on your player right now. You can yeah. see it right there. Is there a four player. digit code associated with that? I hear sometimes they require that these days. Oh, there's my phone number, last digits. Uh, let me try and remember. <laughs> Three nine zero six. All right. If, if they ask you for, you for a code, code three nine yeah. zero six. Twenty dollars, thirty dollars, whatever you can pitch in. Three million. We're dollars. just trying to keep the wool alive. Yeah. Just think about it as like uh, what's what do they call the the jar that you pass at church? Um, the uh, uh, you know, I never went to church. I never went to church. <laughs> Um, I never that's, that's nobody like the collection thing. Yeah. thing. Collection plate. Yeah. Collection plate. One, yes. Yeah. Think of it as a collection plate for collection the church hat, of the world. Hey, collection think plate. of it. Think of it as an investment <laughs> in your future. The more you give, the great heavenly wool will pay dividends back to you. So if you give your life savings, the deed to your house, all your credit cards and so forth, the great wool will pay you back dividends. Fifteen you know, percent. Or at the very least, it won't eat you when it descends from the heavens. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm all into woolism, but I feel like you're lying right now. No, no, no. <laughs> Sign over the deed to your house to at wools on Venmo. Can you do that? Is that a feature yet on on Venmo? I don't I'm know. pretty sure they're coming out with it soon. All right. What what, what do you guys have for us hey, next? PayPal. Uh, do you want to do Red Rocking Chair? Oh yeah, that sounds great. Can you play bass on that one? All right. Yeah, so while the so. wools are uh, instrument changing. Yeah. We're here. We are here. If you guys uh, are getting married or have a party coming up, the wolves are up for hire. Yeah. Hire the yeah. wolves for your wedding, for your birthday party. Bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs. Bat mitzvahs. Bat mitzvahs. Quinceañeras. We know. Um, what's they that know song all we those holiday wedding? tunes. Huh? Um, Hava Nagila Hava. Oh, yeah. We, we know oh, yeah. That. Bar they mitzvahs. Played, they played yeah. that at our wedding. We can also play funerals, divorces. Yeah, divorce. It doesn't party. have to be a happy Not event. enough people have divorce parties. Child custody That's parties. Child custody. <laughs> There's usually a pinata involved in that, I think. Bobbing for custody apples. All right, yeah. well, enough <laughs> with all this talk. Whoever gets the most <laughs> let's, let's show them what you got. Let's talk more rock. Child of divorces, right? Well, here. here's the fun song about death, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now who 
call me honey Who call me honey Who sing a song Who rock the cradle when I'm gone Who rock the cradle sing a song I'll rock this cradle I'll rock this cradle I'll sing a song Well, it's all I can do It's all I can do And it's all I can say Give it to your mother next payday Give it to your mother next payday Well, it's all I can do It's all I can do And it's all I can say Well, I ain't got no use I ain't got no use for your red rocking chair I ain't got no honey baby now I ain't got no honey baby now Well, heck. Well, I think we should play a uh, fun uh, Michael Cullinan uh, version of a traditional tune called Chinese Breakdown. Oh, sure. Let's yeah. do it. Another right. fiddle tune for y'all. Doesn't matter how much we drink, we can always play the fiddle tunes. Yeah. Just kidding. We steer clear of those liquor stills. I mean, didn't we? I think we, we're going to have to warn the people at some point about drinking and gambling all that bad behavior it'll that lead you your all. life to ruin yeah where's my beer <laughs> here we go oh yeah uh, chinese breakdown oh here we go Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, this is like a fun tune that we learned the other night um, from our friend Shams. And it's an old tune from like the 1920s in Kansas City, Missouri. Missouri. And uh, the lady who sang it originally was Lottie Kimbrough, who is affectionately known as the Kansas City Butterball. She was a big lady. And sang a lot of songs back then, but uh, this is kind of a moralistic tune, kind of some advice for all you bad kids out there. Better listen. It'll be a cold day in hell before I recognize Missouri. Shady Pines, Pines Radio, Radio on the station wagon. Hey, Wolves, uh, just what do you have to say for yourselves, honestly? You heard it here first, kids. Yeah, that's I, I can't be denied. It's uh, it's been spoken. Um, thanks for joining us here on the station wagon. I think we have time for uh, one or two more. You guys have another another tune up your sleeves, le- you sleeve skis. Our mandolin tune, one of our mandolin songs. Oh, sure. All right, so what you guys got? What you got for us? We got we got about uh, how many more minutes left of the show, Brian? I don't know. Brian Some. Us for a song. I could play. We could play like one, I guess. What if we did that? Do you remember uh, State Street Rag? I don't know if I remember it, but we could try. Did you guys play that at Cable? I really remember the turnaround. I, I I think I might. I mean I mean yeah, it's been a hot minute, but let's, uh, <laughs> I'm down to give it a shot. Let's see. Remember that one?
sloppy as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? That's what music... You know, well, it's not... Music is not all about being sloppy. Music is all about fucking going for it, being friends, connecting, right down the line. And if it's heart sloppy, you know, you just... You just gotta grab a mop. And that's you it. heard it yeah. here first, kids, on Shady Pines Radio. Shady Pines Radio. That's what it's all about. So let's play Boggled Whiskey Dream by Chunk and then follow it out with uh, with a, just a wool song that will just close out the set. How does that sound? That sounds pretty sounds good. great. Yeah. All right. Supporting, but I can dang. remember when you guys played with uh, Matt Boney days. at the yeah. Matt Boney at the No Fun Bar. The and his I mom do. came. I remember having a moderate amount of fun at the what about at the, the no Rail fun Side bar? Club. We had to do another gig there, man. Oh, I wasn't there. For that me. was the first one with the Bone Stir, yeah, Matt Boney, and uh, that was really fun. That was uh, they, so... they didn't have they had their sound system was like they, we had to figure it out for ourselves. We were on our own. We tried to ask the bartender about it, and she was like. 
was like, I have no clue. You gotta figure that, that place shit out. was a lot of fun. Though. Oh, I remember shit. having a good time. It ended up being such a fun show, and yeah. they just kind of let us keep going. And I remember there were just... no rules at the rail side pub. Yeah, <laughs> where yeah. is this place? It's just down Lombard. It's on Lombard. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's Lombard. technically it's three like right, minutes like, away from like where we are. It's like in the middle are. of the railroad yeah. tracks. It's like. Ready to get hit by a train anymore. Train <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know All what? Right. I Let's just gotta say, come back oh, over here, back Brian. Over here. Come rules back to your chair. Rise again. All rules. Right. I, I, you know, it's it was so fun having you here on the station wagon, and uh, I just I can't quite let it go yet. I feel like you guys should play one more tune. Let's do a fiddle oh. tune since that's our signature move. Let's put my. Okay, Brian. I gotta get take this guitar. Oh back. yeah, here you go. Back. Okay, y'all. Uh, you wanna do, it's Easter. Want to do L and N? Jesus has risen. Christ will. You guys gonna sing gospel? A gospel tune? Christ was but a dandruff flake of the heavenly wool. <laughs> and I know there's a digital record of this forever. But you're gonna get hunted down. Wool. You'll remember it. Uh, I'm here to to remind you again to uh, nobody bomb. Tip <laughs> the wools. Yeah. They are Seriously, here. No. Giving you uh, enjoyment. Yeah, if you want to uh, on Venmo. On this lovely Sunday. <laughs> you want to Venmo them, uh, so you know, some of your money. Just, just go to say. at Wools on Venmo and send them. Uh, W-U-L-E-S. Send them 750 Just 750 That's all we're asking tonight. Half of 15. Today. Well, today. 750 Mid afternoon. It's all we need. $7,500. $7 million. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand dollars. Seven fifty. Seven dollars fifty cents. Yeah. Don't shortchange us. All right. All right. Seven about... billion. Five hundred million. Seven point five bill. That's you, all we need. Uh, you heard it at the beginning of the show. <laughs> we need it to launch our. They rely on pizza space. as their primary <laughs> diet. Yeah. How much is a pizza? They're a they're pizza. fairly expensive these days. Well, I mean, you, know, I... you have to pay for the colon surgery or whatever for me to all the pizza too. So. Right, so there's the wear and tear associated with <laughs> eating a pizza. We're starting up so, the wear and tear association <laughs> devoted to colon surgery <laughs> fixing. For <laughs> those who love pizza and eat it all day long. Alright, just, just play the damn song. God damn it. Ellen right. right. you want to do it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody for hanging out with us this afternoon with the Wolves here on Shady Pines Radio aboard the station wagon. Thank you, Wolves. Yes, tip tip the Wolves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tip the Wolves on Venmo at Wolves. Yeah, and uh, what are those four numbers again? Three. Wait, which one is it? 
3609. You know, it's up on your screen. Don't even worry about yeah, it. The screen is right. And, and don't forget to stay tuned in for the Wooling Hour, which is it's right after the next show, <laughs> which is the Groove Family Hour. So, uh, yeah, Christina's going to have just a minute to cool down, uh, you know, an hour while uh, we listen to the, the sweet grooves of the Groove Family so, Hour. Yeah, stay tuned. And then tuned. she'll be on the air playing, uh, playing whatever the fuck she wants. But the on fun the doesn't family stop hour. there. We got great shows all day, so including we are, uh, Brian and myself are going back live tonight uh, for Nocturnal Submissions. That playing is true. The songs you sent us. And if you want to send us a song, you can just uh, hit that send us a song button there on your player. Yeah. Or on your app if you're listening on the app. And uh, we try to make it easy, as easy as we can. Again, thank you guys so much for joining us on. Callie, you ready? I'm ready. <gasps> <gasps> The station wagon. wagon. <laughs> Should we do that again with everybody? Yeah. Right. We're gonna all just breathe in at the same time, okay? And then we'll say the station wagon. What's the key? All right, give me a. Two, give me a... three. <gasps> Two, three. No, no, you're uh, supposed to on, give breathe us the key. in. Give us a no, C. Give Mike, us a C wait, on the guitar, Mike really quick. Missing the point. <laughs> Give us a C Michael, on that. When when it's the signal fine. happens, <laughs> Michael, when the signal happens, you're supposed to breathe in deep. Okay. All right, All right there you go. two, three, then give a breathe. That, give the us that C. A deep breathe. Two, three. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's do a practice on a C. Uh, the station wagon. What does it sound like on a C? It's a, the, the station, station wagon. wagon. All right. The station wagon. wagon. Two, right. three. The station <gasps> wagon. All right. Hold on. We have Ready? to breathe first. Oh, okay. Ready? Two, three, Breathing then the breathe. Breathing is important. Yeah. Uh, two. Like that. Okay. All right. Two, three. <gasps> the station wagon. On Shady Pines Radio.